In this video, we are going to learn how to store numbers as letters, how to recall them, and how to clear all of our stored numbers. So let's say that we're doing lots of calculations in our calculator, and we're going to need to recall this number to use in other calculations. I know that if you can if you're doing other calculations, you can reference that previous answer by hitting second and then the minus sign down here to reference that, that previous answer. And you can also scroll up in your calculator and grab that previous answer and bring it back down. Those are two options for you. Other options include storing your number as a letter. And so you can do these really long calculations. I'm just going to go up here and grab my previous calculation. And I could say, I want to store this number as X. And so I hit STO for store. And then I hit this X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D button to pick a letter. The first time you press it, it chooses X. But if you push it again, it will change which letter it is using. So I'm going to say I want to store whatever this calculation gives me as Z. And so now I'm going to store that number as Z. So that if I do other calculations, I can say I want to do that number. And then I can reference Z by hitting the XYZ button again until I see Z on my screen. And I can hit enter and then I can do all my calculations with that stored number. This is great for if you're doing a whole bunch of calculations and you know that you're going to need to reference that number later, you can go ahead and store it as a number and then, or store it as a letter and then use it in calculations as needed. Um, you can also, if you're not sure which number you stored in which letter you can go second and then the store button and that brings up the recall menu and you can view the list of all the numbers that you have stored in your calculator and then you can go second quit and then if you want to delete all of those stored variables you can hit second and then xyz and that brings up the clear variable menu and i'm going to go ahead and clear all of my stored values and so now when I go back to recall, you can see all of them are zeros. Hope that helps you.